but he's already testified that the entirety of that composite exhibit shows dates from 2014 to 2015. So it's one or the other. Your Honor, his, but it, there is a difference that matters. It's a distinction with a difference because okay. what Mr. Steele is putting up is a picture of Defendant Williams with a young man whom evidence has come out did not associate with Defendant Williams after a particular time. Now I have a motion. All right. So we'll take up the motion in just a minute. With regard to this particular exhibit, I don't see a date on it either. Is there a date on it of a year? If not, maybe pick a different exhibit. And Your Honor, can my motion be reserved for the time? Yes. May I approach? Yes. All right. Mr. Slate, may I approach you? Yes. Let's just flip the exhibit here. How about the next exhibit? Jeffrey Williams exhibit number 220EE. Okay. It says December 31st, 2015. Let the jurors see it first. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Go ahead. You can look. It's the same. It says December 31st, 2015. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. And NYE, do you know that stands for New Year's Eve? Yes. 2015? Yes. And did that come, this 220EE, come shortly after, immediately after 220DD of Jeffrey Williams exhibit? Yes. And this one, again, the date on 220DD is in Chicago, and it is on? 26th. Thank you. Tell the jurors. December 26th. And does this help you orient that December 26th on 220DD is 2014? No. Okay. Does it help you with 220EE? Is the date New Year's Eve going into 2015? Yes. And who is performing on New Year's Eve, December 31, 2014, going into December, excuse me, January 1st, 2015? Who are the performers? Jeffrey Williams. Who else? Barry Mayer and Rich Omicron. Okay. Thank you. So, Your Honor, regarding the objection as to the year of 220DD, I believe that Mr. Steele said the year was December 26, 2015, and that was where the issue was. I'm asking if now it's understood that it's 2014. I don't know that we have that understanding because we don't have evidence that, I mean, I realize these are handed to the witness in a particular order, but I don't know that there's any evidence to suggest that the order that they're in is a chronological one, so we still don't have any evidence as to which of the two years that other one was. We just know that this one that we're looking at right now, 220EE, is for a concert date December 31st of 2015 with those performers. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Your Honor, you've allowed me to continue, so I don't have to ask the jurors to leave, but I made a motion. Oh, yes, yes. And Mr. Matthews reminded me. Thank you for reminding me of that. And what happened was, and please check the record, but what I remember happening was Ms. Love makes a speaking objection, comments, puts her own testimony before the jury and states that the testimony, that there's no evidence and it's already been proven, and I know that there's a strained relationship between Jeffrey Williams and Rich Homie Kwan. That is wrong. Rich Homie Kwan has given interviews shortly after January 10th, 2015, all the way up to 2024, consistently how close he and Jeffrey Williams are. The prosecution said that Rich Homie Kwan, his real name is Mr. Lamar, that he was coming to court and he would be testifying, and the prosecution did not call him. He was on a short list. He was under subpoena. They did not call him. I have a good faith belief they didn't call him because, what? I'm sorry? Yeah, you need to speak. I have a good faith belief that the state did not call him 
because he gave exculpatory information about his relationship with Jeffrey Williams. So for the prosecutor to then say in front of the jury, and please check the record um, to make sure that what I'm saying is what was said by um, Ms. Love, but I immediately um, would have uh, made this motion uh, if you did not allow me to preserve it. And a lawyer can't tell the testimony. This is what happened. Bri Brian Steele knows this. That, that is untruthful. In fact, I know the opposite. Uh huh. All right. So my recollection is that Ms. Love said that the evidence shows that after a certain date, one of the people in this picture no longer hung around Mr. Williams. Okay. Good. That's that, a closer. That is not true. Account. What the state was trying, they, they're, they're crazy theory, in my opinion, is that in the fall of 2014, Mr. Williams somehow cared about Rich Homie Kwan signing with a third party. His name is Mr. Brian Williams, which mm -hmm. is Birdman. Right. And somehow that, that because Donovan Thomas said, no, <laughs> Mr. Rich Homie Kwan, don't sign with Birdman, that Jeffrey Williams has now a motivation to kill Donovan Thomas. None of that comes out, and it's untruthful. As you saw, they are playing together, they being Jeffrey Williams and Rich Homie Kwan, on New Year's of Well, 2014. you know what? There are plenty of band members who play together and hate each other, so them playing together doesn't establish anything. But, um, yeah, that's all we get. Um, so, Miss Love, um, you maintain that it is in evidence, so can you... That there was what part of the evidence and who said it? Yes, and I would ask if if the court has in front of it my exact words or if there's a way I to don't grab have okay your exact words in front of me, but I'm sure we can get them by Monday. Okay. But it was it was the same. So what I was referring to was the testimony that has been given that after a certain date, at least one witness, there may have been two testify that the relationship between one person in that photograph and defendant Williams changed. Mm -hmm. I can definitely say that Mr. S uh, I can definitely say that Apart from that testimony that the jury has already heard, personally, I definitely had a great faith basis okay, that's for saying it, but that is not what I said. I said what I, I was referring to the second part of what was asserted by Do counsel. You know, um which witness or witnesses it would have been? Because I think Miss um, Weaver's probably transcribed it, a good bit of this, and she's pretty fast. I'm happy to ask her to. I believe it would have been um, Mr. Thomas Sr., okay. who was asked about the relationship between one of the people in the photograph or having seen them right. after a certain time or that it was strained. That's why I'm asking. And then I'm not certain whether Detective Dennis talked about it. Um, that I'd, I'd have to, I'd have to look back. Okay. Why, but don't, why don't you look back? I mean, did that, Mr. Thomas Sr. testify for any real length of time? I mean, he would was that there be for a easy? Day. Okay. That'd be easy enough for Ms. Weaver to put together. I'd imagine and, Mr. Dennis testified for longer. Yes, All but right. maybe you could look at your notes on yeah. that and maybe pinpoint that more directly. And then I could ask Ms. Weaver, you know, with I some will. parameters. Maybe. And I'll also um, just check with the team because it's not not been a topic that has been discussed. So we've discussed those things anyway. And I can clarify because it was not. It was uh, I think that was Miss Hilton's witness, so she'd probably have a better memory than me. But the reason that I asked exactly what I said is because I think I chose my words carefully before I said them. OK. And, and I want to make certain of exactly what I said. And I want to point back to exactly what I was referring okay. to. OK. And Miss um, Winfrey over the weekend will be 
kind enough to find us that little portion of Miss Love's <laughs> um, statement that resulted in Mr. Steele having a motion and saying, can I just bring it up later and me saying yes, and then we'll take all that up first thing on Monday. Okay. Thank you. And okay. the point is a lawyer, I do remember the father attempting to say things like that, but he couldn't explain later photographs, whatever, that goes to wait. What? But the issue is a lawyer to tell a jury what the evidence is, is testifying. It's inappropriate. Your Honor, what I, what I think was inappropriate was attempting to mislead the jury by asserting that a photograph that Mr. Steele was aware was taken or at least that particular concert or whatever, that was not a December 2015 concert as he stated to Mr. Sledge and Mr. Sledge said yes. Even after Mr. Steele put up the next flyer or whatever it was mm -hmm. and led Mr. Sledge by saying this happened December 2014 that New was Year's actually Eve 2015. The, that was 2015. That was it. It was going into 2015. The second one. So that was, was 2014. Yes, okay. the first one was 2014. Okay. All of those. And so when Mr. Steele said the reason that I said what that I objected the way I did is that Mr. Steele said that that posting that was defense exhibit. Um, so when people say New Year's Eve 2015, they actually mean December 31st, 2014? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. That's what they meant. So, Your Honor. But, and Your Honor, may I finish before me, he's allowed? May I finish before Mr. Okay. Steele is allowed? Yeah, let's, let's see what Ms. Love was saying. Go ahead. So, um, at the time that Mr. Steele put up the flyer, and suggested before this jury that that flyer was for an event in December 2015. Yeah. That I objected because, and what I didn't say, what I wanted to say, which was he knows full well that wasn't December 2015, but I said that there has been evidence of something different. Okay. Well, that probably wasn't the best way to handle it. And, and if I'm, I'm not saying I did, but I may have misspoke. If I misspoke on a date, I wasn't doing deliberately. And the objection is that shouldn't be 2015. Are you sure, Mr. Steele or Your Honor? I don't think that's 2015. Not, and the evidence that shows, don't excuse interrupt. me. Don't interrupt. And the evidence shows that there was no relationship. They weren't speaking. That's, that's the, what I'm complaining about. Yeah, that the she said the evidence shows. Okay. I mean, that may I not have been the I absolute see. best way to handle it. And I do wish that both of y'all, I mean, y'all clearly get under each other's skin and try to divorce from the case the fact that each of you is the attorney handling certain evidence or certain witness because Honestly, both of you probably would do your tasks for your clients better if you could focus a little less on the fact that y'all get on each other's nerves, okay? I mean, you do not have to, um, it does not have to be like a gladiator fight every time anybody says anything when it's the two of you. It doesn't come off well for anybody, honestly. So that's just my two cents worth. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd also like to say that I every evidentiary it, objection does not need to be made, even if it's a valid one. So think about that, too. Yes, All right. Your Honor. Anything else? D um, Your Honor, just that I, I, I'll just await Ms. Um, Winfrey's okay. snippet. Okay. All right. Um, I, I, I hate to do this, y'all. I can't stand to get up really early in the morning either, but I think we have enough things to do before the jury joins us that we're going to need to do 
eight thirty on Monday, and maybe I should just tell the jury from now on nine thirty on Monday, but I haven't. I told them nine, so um, we're going to see each other at eight thirty. Okay. Yes, Sean. All right. All right, everybody. Have a good weekend.